Howdy, y'all. This is Clay. Good morning. I'm Lloyd. And this is Iron Sharpening Iron with the Kaler Boys. And uh, today is uh, the 13th day of June 2024, Thursday morning. That's right. Lucky Thursday the 13th. Oh, yeah. As yeah. opposed to... <laughs> you know, I don't Friday buy Thursday. into that. I know. I, I know don't you either. don't either. I, don't I know either. you're just saying it because everybody yeah. says, but I just, just don't. Do you know the origin of that? I, I, I know, honestly, don't. Okay, so back during the Middle Ages, um, there was a, the, the Catholic Church had uh, made the determination that the Masonic Lodge was a satanic organization and needs to be, needed to be wiped off the face of the planet. And so... You got a little gnat. Yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> when I was in seminary, uh, we had this group of, of uh, African students that came over, you know, just for a semester, and they were hanging out with us. It's pretty cool. They're all, you know, Christians and everything. It'd be cool listening to their culture. And oh, their, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it'd just be neat. Well, we're, we're all standing outside, and, and there's these gnats buzzing around, and all of a sudden, one of them goes, <laughs> <laughs> that's how they do with gnats. <laughs> I've done that accidentally more than once. So anyway, uh, the, the Catholic Church determined that the, uh, the the Masonic Lodge was a satanic organization needed to be wiped off the planet. And there was a secret Masonic meeting that was going on in, you know, cabin in the woods kind of thing. And uh, the crew, the, uh, the, well, the, the Knights Templar um, right. attacked them and slaughtered them, absolutely slaughtered and them. And it was on, and a, it Friday. Was on a Friday the 13th. And, uh, so that's where that came from. Little, there you go. Unnecessary history, right? Uh, let's jump into the scripture today. We got a lot to talk about. All right, today. come on. All right, uh, we are coming out of Second Corinthians chapter one. Uh, this is just part of what we studied last night, um, and this is such a neat passage. <coughs> Excuse me, Second Corinthians chapter one, beginning in verse uh, three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all of our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. I like that. Um, now, if we're afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same suffering we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope is, for you is steadfast because we know that you are partakers of the suffering, so also you will partake in the consolation. Now, what Paul is saying here is, uh, number one, God is the God of all mercies, Father of all mercies. Number two, he's God of all comfort. Uh, he comforts us in our trials so that we can then comfort others in the same way. Right. Um, and then he goes into this. He says, you are going to suffer. Period. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, Welcome no to this about. earth. But if you're a child of God and you suffer, you will also receive consolation. You'll also be consoled in right. Christ. Yes. Um, and, and, and then the thing he, he ends it up with, he says, my suffering, the suffering that we're going through for the sake of the gospel, uh, is for your benefit. Uh, and it's for your salvation. Um, and our consolation is also for your salvation and your benefit. And, and the reason why, and he gets in, into it later in the chapter, uh, Paul went through this really dark time uh, where he 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 said he he thought he was going to die. Um, he he was hoping for death. He hated life. Right. And uh, he leaned into the strength of God and he thanked the Corinthian church for their prayers. And he said their prayers brought him through that time. And because their prayers brought him through that time, he was able to preach the gospel to others who now owe a thanks to Corinthians. Right. Right. And, and so it's just, ripple effect. Yeah. 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 And it's just it's such a neat. Uh, Viewpoints that people don't have. You got a new. Uh, you got a new kernel. No, that's the yeah. same one. Oh, okay, that's the big one. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. yeah, I could only find the the big one in in brass. I got you. So you, you you got the big kernel. I got the little kernel. Hey, you didn't have you, the black you, hat. You, you've been a kernel for like what fifteen days. I've been a kernel for thirty years. <laughs> you didn't have the black hat. The brass don't go good on the on that hat. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree it goes that. better on the. It, it looks good. It looks. Really it looks good. better on here. I uh I have ordered uh a couple of the the silver ones. Yeah. But when they, and they're big, I found the bigger ones. They're the same size as this. But when they get here, I'm gonna spray paint them black. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And just they'll, they'll look real good. They'll look real good black. So uh 
And I, I, when I do it, of course I order a pair. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, cool. they come in a pair. Well, <laughs> not necessarily. No. No, you, uh, they're, the ones that I found that are already black are single. Oh, yeah. And they're twice the price. Twice the price. Yeah, yeah and you only get one because well, it's, it's black. Well, I know how to spray paint pretty yeah, good. I was going to say, a little flat black and you're good. I've been on spray paint him from way back. Yeah. So, You're done. talking about history, we did history of uh, Friday the 13th. I got another historical fact I want to talk to you about. All right. Um, in October of 1962, uh, we as a country during the Cold War under, uh, under uh, uh, Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, uh, before either one of us were born. Yeah. What, what year were you born? 64. 64. I, 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 was, I, was on my, I wasn't on my way yet, but no. I was. No. You, you, you were on the horizon. Yeah. Uh, so 1962 in October, um, reconnaissance uh, aircraft captured images of Russian missiles in Cuba. Right. And that started what's known as Cuban the, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Right. It was 16 days of, of very intense threats back and forth. And uh, it, it, it resulted in uh, President Kennedy negotiating the, the removal of those missiles and and. and we didn't have to die hiding under our desks in elementary school. Assume, um. <laughs> assume the position. Do you notice that when we were in school, the tornado position and the yeah. nuclear bomb position yeah, were the, the same, same position? Same one. Yeah. And uh, uh, it was explained to me. Well, you know what they taught us in the army. In that's what it was explained to me. It was explained to me what that position was when I when I went in basic training. Yeah. You put your behind the blast and, and your thumbs in your ears and you cover your eyes and with then your fingers you bend over <laughs> far as you can and you kiss your behind goodbye that's right that's what you're doing that's right so the and i thought I, well i i learned i learned how to kiss the behind goodbye way back in school so the reason i bring up the cuban missile crisis um yesterday uh a russian battleship and several russian submarines arrived in cuba well man that's just interesting. Well, you know, Biden has authorized the launch of U.S. weapons into into Russia. the interior of Russia well, by Ukraine, and I mean that's. And today, he and Zelensky are expected to sign a ten-year agreement of support for Ukraine. He he is committing the United States of America to support Ukraine for another. 10 years whether we like That's it or not happen today whether we like He's it or not the g7 summit right now. nothing nothing's voted this is not uh, we don't live in the a republic or a a, a power no, of we the don't. people we don't we we live in in whatever money greed and warmongering decisions they want to make yeah. and then we get handed to there you go it's sadly both parties for the most part no it, it, it it's all it, uh uh what, what's my boy's name there uh oliver Oliver Anthony. Oh, yeah, yeah. The rich man yeah, north, north of, of Richmond. Richmond. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, and, and that sums it up, man. And they do not care about the American people. There's a handful that I would I would accept from that. Interestingly enough, a handful out of both parties. You know what, man? <clears throat> John Fetterman. I, I, don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Because all you get from any of them is a bunch of lip service. Nothing ever happens. And I know what you're going to tell me about all the idiots, but Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever will happen. Nothing happened four years ago. Nothing happened eight years ago. Nothing happened. And nothing's going to happen. It's not, dude. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I, just, I have zero faith in our system right. at all. Zero. Yeah. None. You, I mean, let, let's. What's going on with the Hunter Biden business, buddy? We're going to talk about that today. Yeah. That's just a sacrificial lamb. Look what we did. What is his life? What's going to? What is going to be the change. effect? Yeah. Nothing. The well, only thing that's affected in his life so far is that he's got to spend some time in the court. That's his penance he's got to pay. Yeah. His financial life will not change. Right. Whether he's going to have food to eat or be in a financial bind because he's got to make probation this month right. or, or parole or whatever he's going to be on all that. None of that's going to be affected at all. Right. Right. He's going to continue marching status quo. And he may not be able to legally own a handgun, but he's got, he'll have protection from fat daddy. Who's a billionaire. Well, he's, he's already got uh, <laughs> secret service protection. Yeah. So. And, and so nothing happens, nothing, even when it appears to happen, it's not happening. Have you heard about this new caucus? It's it, Strictly Republican. Um, they've got about eight members, I think. Maybe I'm wrong on that. It might be six. Um, it's the Navy SEAL Caucus. These are 
new representatives that are all former Navy SEALs. We'll see. What about yeah. old Patch Eye guy? He was uh, all former military, he, supposed yeah, to be great was, American. He was a SEAL. Yeah. And he's going to be the great American. Right. And you know what, man? Know. He is just as slimy as the rest of them, dude. Such a, such a, oh. Such it's because they can be bought. That's why they hate Donald Trump so much. He couldn't be bought. Right. The rest of them, and I mean the rest of them, can be bought. Yeah. Ted Cruz has got a price tag. Sorry, he does. I haven't seen it yet. He's got one. I guarantee you. I, I guarantee you he yet. does. I, I guarantee I'm, and, and you know what? I'm, I'm giving him Mr. Cruz, of the doubt if, if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I, and I'll be the first one to say, you know what, I was wrong. But I think every, even the ones that I like, yeah, Matt Gacy and Rand Paul, they got a price tag. Our Speaker of the House, he, vote for, he voted for the Ukraine bill. He allowed that to go on through. He's got a price tag. I, uh, they all, they all going to be, and it's all about the money, man. They don't care about the people at all. Zero. I still think there are some holdouts. Um, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I think there was more of the holdouts ten years ago, but, oh, they, yeah. but they've but yeah. they been bought. Yeah, yeah. they've yeah. been bought now because yeah. they have a price tag. Well, you may hold out for a while, but <clears throat> it's the machine. The machine's going to eat you. The only way you're going to hold out is get out. Yeah. Or you'll either be, be immune. Maybe, maybe well, I don't know. The either I keep bringing him up, but I, you know I, I personally know Ronnie Jack. And, and you know what? I've met him on a number of times, and, and your word to me is as good as, as anything in, in, on this planet. Yeah. But I still have my doubts. Yeah. Uh, well, and, and I get that. I get you know, one, one they, they set these politicians up to, to get them in a the compromising position. Yeah. One moment of you, you, you missing a little, and we're all weak. Well, and, we're and all weak. We're all ways, human. One of the ways they set them up is uh, they, they tell them, look, we, we need to get this certain bill pushed through if you will vote for this then i will support this for your district and they don't and yeah exactly <clears throat> um you know the, well, <clears throat> the, the 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 dude that surprises me the most right now is john fetterman john fetterman came in as a stroke victim essentially right uh couldn't put two sentences together. yeah he's come he, a long he's, way he's he's a, lab, a rabid liberal in, in in so many ways but at the same time He's the one Democrat that is standing up against the Democrats in a lot of the stuff they're trying to pull. And he will, he'll say what he thinks. I'm, well, and, I know. know. Again, I disagree with him on a lot, but I've right. got to show the man some respect. And I would have never thought it. I wouldn't either. I would I, 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 you know, I, I, The way I've and seen he, it. He's recovering. He's getting better with his speech and right. everything. But man, that was. You know, uh, Brandy, when Brandy had that first stroke, yeah, she lost something, right, and she has not ever gotten it back, right. and it's called a filter. Yeah, <laughs> and she'll say what what comes to her mind, right? She doesn't think, you know, well, that might hurt Susie's feelings. She'd be like, "Wow, that dress makes Susie look fat." She don't insult people, no, but it's just I don't know. Yeah. That's just me. I don't know why that came to right. her mind first, just because I'm just wrong. But she'll just she'll just whatever. Thought happens in her head, she just comes out yeah. with it. But, you know, it's and maybe of, old Fetterman's got a little of that. And I hope so. Maybe yeah. he'll say some stuff that needs to be said yeah. out loud. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like the story of the guy he's sitting there on the sofa watching TV, and his wife comes out. And she does this little modeling turn. She says, "Do these jeans make me look fat?" And he says, "No, your enormous thighs do, though." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want the you want the truth, or you want me to spare your feelings? What Poor do you want me to do? didn't see his wife for two weeks after that. Yeah. <laughs> after two weeks, he could see him a little, see her a little bit out of his left eye. <laughs> Oh, man. So we've got a Russian battleship and Russian submarines parked 90 miles off the Florida coast. What do you do with that? And and, and Joe Biden is over at the G7 summit, uh, swearing to support Ukraine for another 10 years. Um, we don't have a John F. Kennedy in the White House right now. No. And if we did, the CIA would assassinate him. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Well, there goes our viewership for this one. There's, there's, <laughs> Sorry. Facebook's going to shut us down. Uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube's going to shut us down again. That's all right. We're, we're, we're not here to filter ourselves. We're going to pretend to be Brandy. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, I Maybe mean, I had a stroke one time, but I don't have a filter either. 
Uh, I think that comes with age, disappointment, it, it, and experience. It, it it's age. It's the older yeah. I get, the less I really care. Oh yeah, yeah. And well, I don't mean I don't care and that about happens people. With a lot of folks. The less I care about what people think, people think or yeah. say. Yeah. You know, if you have an opinion, ain't that wonderful? Yeah. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's like my turds. Well, it's, we all should keep that to ourselves. Well, it's like that. You know, little blue haired kid. Yeah. Trying to call me out on my handgun. You know. <sighs> Ridiculous. Isn't that precious? You have an opinion. (laughs) And you know, that's that little blue hair would be the first one to scream. Somebody call 911. Right. If if anybody just simply walked up on the street to him and confronted him. Yeah. He'd be wanting some of that toxic masculinity with a gun (laughs) to come save him. That's right. Because he's incapable. Like the video, I think I told you about this the other day. Our our society is, is so in trouble. I watched a... 25 30 year old man get taken out by a blue jay yeah 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 <laughs> he got eliminated dude <laughs> he was eliminated from the fight because when he fell off his bicycle he skinned his little elbow oh no and it, you could see it he, he had the whole camera thing going you know like the 360 cam you yeah. could really get a good idea oh, of what man. went on and this blue jay is chasing him and he's doing this we grew up in, in rural America, buddy. And, and we've had plenty of blue jays that yeah. swooped and died. But that's what they do if they if yeah. you're infringing in their territory, their area, and they feel threatened or their nest is threatened. Right. They'll swoop and die by match you. They want to run you off. Right. And they're not trying to eat you. Blue yeah. jays don't eat people. <laughs> they're defending their territory. Oh, maybe they got a wall around their border. Yeah, maybe. Maybe border security is important to blue jays. <laughs> anyway, they're defending a homeboy. Right. I guess he got too close to something and he's looking back and he is just peddling for all he's worth run for your life run for your life it's the attack of the single blue jay oh my god and then as he bites it in the dirt he goes tumbling he's got a little skin mark and it's just about that big i mean poor fella my grandsons had way worse than that on their scooters and uh, and he's rolled up. We grew it. up without knee pads, and elbow pads, and helmets. We we skinned off a quarter of our body over the years. I think our mother would have hurt our feelings if we'd have ran in with a little scratch oh, like that. Yeah. Is it mommy, mommy? She, well, go back outside. <laughs> yeah, we'd have been like, oh, oh. We'd have maybe we'd have been one of the people that said, "Mommy didn't hug me enough." Yeah. Mama hug us just the right amount. Well, the fact but is, yeah, he rolled up, run. and 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 he was taken out of the fight because. Then he grabbed his elbow oh. and he just was just rocking on him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, he's in a public park. Yeah, there's other people that can see you, yeah. man. Have some dignity. At least act like it doesn't hurt. Right. You right. know the the walk off of pain. You know when something you really oh, and you just walk off. Yeah. And you just. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh, Usually man. that's associated with. Around the man vegetable area hit, yeah. but you know, and you just whoo, whoo, and, and you, you know, wander off. But what, that's our society the sad today. Thing about that is, if the kimchi comes to hits the fan, uh, that's the general fighting age. Yeah, he he, he, he is. He's, he's gonna be one of our war fighters. He's the general fighting age of our country. I'm telling you, a couple of things I've noticed. I'm way off topic. I don't care. A couple of things I've noticed that that just has, are odd to me. Number one, this year. This gnat made me think I, of it. The insects this year, mosquitoes and gnats and cicadas. I know it. I know it. I know it, man. It is wild. I have never. We've had mild winters before. I, I have never seen the number of I insects watched, that we see now. I watched a a yard crew, and, and I, wherever the mayflies are bad at right now. Yeah. And... They yeah. they weren't sweeping the sidewalks. They were had backpack blowers yeah. Yeah. and were blowing mounds. It was so thick that it was like rolling. Oh wow. They were so thick. A, I, a dead mayflies? Mayflies, yeah. Wow. And they wow. were there were millions on just this one lady's porch. Yeah. And then they pan out to the sidewalk and it's every house, you know, of course. Interesting. But just on this and I mean it was a carpet. It had to have been two or three <laughs> inches thick, a carpet. And as he's blowing it, it, it's it's like wet leaves. Yeah. You know, it's not going, wee, you know, it, it's rolling it, just literally rolling it over. That's wild. And, and uh, yeah, and then the cicadas, you see them yeah. attacking people. I'm not, you know, I say attacking, just swarming people yeah. that are just trying to mow their grass. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I was uh, <laughs> out at that, that 
crickets. Now we've had year. crickets. Yeah, we, last we had, year we had a massive invasion of crickets. It was you wild. Know, you want to know the the fix on that? What's that? If you're getting crickets in your house, here you go. All right. YouTube. If you're getting crickets like in your house, and uh, I, I worked for the concrete company for a while, mm -hmm. and they were bad there, like really bad. And I come into work, it was like day two of it. And I'd come in early, and I would clean all the crickets out of the front office area. Right. They would be in the front office and all in the walkway. Yeah. And, you know, them women showing up, they don't like that. And, of course, the boss, he appreciated me doing that. Sure. And, uh, and he told me, he said, I appreciate that. And he said, but if you want them to stop, and he said, I need you to go to Sam's. I said, okay. And he gave me his little Sam's card, and off to Sam's I went, and he told me, he said, buy a big thing of cinnamon. Oh, yeah, Not cinnamon that. sugar, right, cinnamon. That. And you sprinkle it around your door areas. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop the crickets from doing what crickets do, but it keeps them from coming into your home right. or into whatever door area you don't want to. And I was like, okay, this is an old wives' tale, whatever. I mean, I'm going to do what he asked me to do. Yeah. And I did and went and, you know, of course, cleaned it that day, sprinkled cinnamon around. That was it. That was it. Huh. They were still there every morning. Yeah. But they weren't on in the, the walkway. Outside. Yeah. And they, or, I mean, they, even on the outside in the walkway, they weren't there because I put cinnamon down. Huh. They were outside the cinnamon, away from the cinnamon. They, didn't, they don't like it. Yeah. Something about it yeah. turns crickets off. They don't like it. And I thought, well, that, I'll, I'll remember that forever. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Maybe so, I can get some cinnamon, just put a, a geo fence around my house. And, and yeah. <laughs> put your little cinnamon fence there. So, what's the trick about getting rid of gnats then? No idea, no, brother. I don't know that one. But I'm going to tell you what, man. My uh, thermocell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, the one night I didn't have it at work. You got the truck problem or whatever. Yeah. And I didn't have it one night at work, and I got ate up. Yeah, I'm did. scratched. And, oh, I oh, got yeah. tore up. I had to sit in that truck with the windows up all night or that vehicle all yeah. night. Uh, ended up costing me more in fuel than it should because it's warm. Right. You got to run. Yeah. It's not too bad if you can roll your windows down and get a breeze. Right. Or if you can step out of the truck. Couldn't do either one, and mm -hmm. uh, but man, I made it my way back over to that mechanic the very next morning and retrieved my thermostat. Yes, sir. No, the sir, next no, night, I need to get one of them. The next night, the guard that relieved me, he's like, "Man, mosquitoes are bad." I had my thermostat. Yeah. I said, as soon as he said that, I reached over and grabbed it and sparked that bad boy up and let it start ginning. Yeah. I didn't have any troubles at all that night. Right. So I mean, yeah, I need to get one of them. Uh, so the other thing that I was going to talk about that's really weird. Um, and I'm not the only one. I've talked to many people. Um, the other day, my phone rings and it pops up as a number, not a name. Mm -hmm. And then it down below, it says, possibly Thomas Harrison. Well, wait a minute. I've got Cujo in my phone. He's programmed in my phone. Proof calls. No, no, it was him. Um, contacts are dropping out of my contact list in my phone. If anyone else is having this happen, huh. mention it in the comments because I know of three other people that are ha having the same problem. Um, Sue Ward called me and, and it, she wasn't, she wasn't no longer, she was no longer in my phone. Um, and, and the only way that I know that somebody's not in my phone is when they call me and it doesn't, it doesn't show their contact information and they are dropping out of my phone. And Mindy's weird. having the same problem. A couple of other people I know are having the same I wonder problem. if it's iPhone. I know you run iPhone. Yeah. Does Mindy use iPhone? Yeah, she does. I wonder she if does. it's iPhone related. Well, and it might be. It Because be. I haven't had Personally, I, I, think it's, it, it, I think it's intentional. I think there's something going on uh, to some help. sort of cyber attack. Because um, another person I was talking to, um, all of their notes just disappeared from the phone. I would find out if those people had an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, man, I have heard some weird stuff on iPhones here lately. The new iPhone well, update. If, the, if there's a, a cyber attack against the Apple cloud, that would make sense. If there's, a, there's a new update coming out. Yeah. And it's supposed to, like, uh, according to put your tinfoil hat on conspiracy yeah. people, it's supposed to, uh, like, monitor what you say and do yeah. more, more than what your phones are doing now. Right. Uh, and, and it's supposed to not have you not like the, your locations and stuff like that. Even when you turn it off, it's still on. Yeah. Just, yeah. And you know, like I said, I have no idea if that's what I didn't build the update and I, I couldn't be surprised if you, if you gave me the update, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. What does an update look like? Is it in paper? Is it, you know what I mean? Right. I, I wouldn't be able to look at it and, and decipher what all them numbers mean. Yeah. And and so I don't know if, it, I, but I wouldn't be surprised either. No, no. And and here's where does thing. iPhone come from? Who's making them? 
Well, they're made in China. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But we got to cancel TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to cancel TikTok and invest millions into the company that's going to be the replacement for TikTok. You know, I refuse to have like an Echo Dot or anything like that in my house. No, I don't want one of them either. Yeah, no, I, I just absolutely refuse. You know what? I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm going to tell you where I, I, I read a story. And this was like, there's no, I didn't want one before I read right. this story. But then after I read this story, no way. Yeah. Absolutely zero way. This guy. And, and here's the sad thing. <laughs> that would be really good for branding. It would be. It would be such a good thing for branding. It would be. But no. It would be helpful. But yeah. but it's not you worth. You could it up to your TV and Brandy could say, go to Channel 7. Yeah. But uh, this guy had his whole house was automated. Smart house. Yeah. Smart house. Yeah. His door locks, yeah. his alarm system, his air conditioned heating, mm -hmm. the lights, everything, everything, everything was run by Amazon, by this yeah. Echo business. He bought a lot of stuff. He was an Amazon customer, obviously. Yeah. He bought something off Amazon. He put a bad review on because it was trash. Yeah. He comes home that afternoon. He's locked out of his house. It took him two weeks to get in his home. You got to be get in me. his home. After the first day, he got in the home, but nothing would work. Oh no air conditioning, God. no lights, nothing. For a week, two two weeks minus that one All day. Right, so is there a coincidence here or a, a CO conspiracy? <laughs> I, I don't know. But they, they had the ability yeah. to shut his lights off and he couldn't override it. Yeah. He cut his air conditioner off. Can you imagine in August if they cut your AC yeah. off in oh, Texas? Yeah. yeah. Now, you would kill people in Texas. Another public service announcement. Um, you are going to get, if you haven't already, you're going to get a little postcard in the mail from your electric company saying, if you want, we will provide you a free smart thermostat for your <laughs> house. We'll come in and we will install it. It's not going to cost you anything and it's going to save you money in the long run. And... Um, have you already heard about the rolling brownouts and blackouts? Yeah, and then being able to control your thermostat. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they'll request. Have... They'll request first. Yeah. They'll request everybody set their thermostats to 78 or, yeah. or 80 degrees. Yeah. And if you don't comply, then, then will, then they comply. Will, then That's they the word. It. That's the word of the 2024. Yeah. Comply. If That's you don't right. comply, they'll do it for you. Yeah, they sure will. And Thank uh, you for the free thermostat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if, you, if you don't haven't already signed up for that program, don't. don't. How many times has our father told us nothing in life is free? That's right. There's a cost to everything. Everything. And, uh, you know, now, there was this, I saw this thing, I don't remember where I saw it, it was a while ago. Uh, it, was, it was one of those shows about u unique homes and that sort of thing. And there's this dude, he is a, uh, a, a technology engineer, uh, and he built a smart home. But, he built it with an intranet, not the internet. Yeah. So there's nobody from the outside could do anything with his home. It's all internally See, he's based smart. on his own servers. And, smart and guy. he's got all the benefits of the smart home with none of the detractions. None of the intrusions. <laughs> right. Oh man. Well, let's uh we was gonna talk about Hunter Biden this morning. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, for those of y'all that I'm sure there's nobody that doesn't know, but uh, Hunter Biden was found guilty of three felony gun charges uh, in a courtroom in Delaware. He's uh, waiting for sentencing now. And which um, means nothing. Joe Biden uh, was asked in an interview if Hunter Biden is found guilty and sentenced, is he going to pardon him? And Joe Biden said no. So this is all for the appearance of... Uh, there's not a two-tier justice yeah, system. That's exactly, all this is. Exactly. He won't pardon him because there's nothing going to change in Hunter Biden's life. Right. Nothing. Well, he's going to be a convicted felon. So? I know. I know. What's that going to change? Not a thing. What, is that, what in his day-to-day -day life is that going to affect? Right. Nothing. nothing. He's not looking for a job. Yeah. Because he's, he's an artist. He's a multimillionaire. He, and, yeah, he's, uh, he's not out there trying to fill out a resume getting turned down right. and worrying about whether his electric bill is paid for. Right. Because he's got sugar daddy paying his bills. Well, for a long time, he was paying sugar daddy's bill. Well, no, he's got a sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. I'm not talking about the big guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about sugar yeah, daddy. Let's right. get our that's words right, right that's here. That's right, that's right. Oh, God. So nothing, you know, and and it's all, and, and he won't. Biden won't. I, I truly believe that Biden will not pardon him. Because it's going to, it, it's all for optics. Well, 
first of all, I don't think that Hunter Biden's ever going to see the inside of jail. Nope. Though. I don't think nope. that's even a possibility. Oh, they've already talked about, well, this is his first offense. Yeah. And he he didn't really know he was addicted. Right. Right. When in his own uh, audio book, in his own voice, he's talking about the fact that he had a superpower. He could find crack in any city. Yeah. But he's uh, not, a, doesn't have an addiction. No, of course not. Yeah, and then, uh, but, you know, I, here, here's what I want to know is, is the repercussions of the laptop. Yeah. They introduced yeah. the yeah. laptop See, as fact. Yeah. I want to play some. Uh, the thing that the thing that irritates the snot out of me is the, is the same government that denied the laptop. Uh, let me play this. Yeah. And said this is Hunter Biden's laptop. Here's what we were told about Hunter Biden's yep. laptop. You mean the laptop is now another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? So yeah, that's exactly it. what is this that's way you exactly go? what this is where he's was that your laptop? For real. I don't know. I, I know, but you know that's this I is really a, don't know okay. what the answer is. That's, you don't know really, yes or no if the laptop was I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could not. have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that <laughs> I was hacked. It could Do be you have a missing laptop that, that you don't know about Russian intelligence? It could be that it was stolen from me. Did you leave a laptop with a repairman in Wilmington? Not that you remember. No. No. But whether or not um, somebody has my laptop, whether or not uh, it was a, uh, my was hacked, whether or not there, it, it exists a laptop at all, I truly don't know. Are you missing a laptop? Not that I know of. Verified yesterday, right. 51 Intel officers told us it was the hallmark of disinformation. Right. The New York Post, one of the most widely circulated newspapers in the country, was banned. The future president of the United States told us it was all a lie. And I just want to point out quickly the irony of election interference <laughs> president trump election interference that's what we were told last thursday with the guilty verdict uh who brought forward the laptop and said it was disinformation the left who brought forward the steel dossier and said trump is a russian colluder the left Woo. who told us all of these lies Woo. the left who carried mm -hmm. the water the press and yesterday the macbook 13 was verified by a federal agent don't believe what you're told investigate for your agent looked at the serial and the thing is, they used it as evidence as in evidence. his trial. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and, you know, I'm going to get back on the once again, nothing will happen. 51 yeah, agents yeah. said, oh, no, that's just, and they swore to it. And several of them were, uh, a few of them were, had been, you know, the, the, the director of the CIA. And um, uh, a lot of them got the little quid pro quo pro for saying what Well, they said. and you know who's the one that, that orchestrated that letter? Tony Blinken. Yeah. Our Secretary of State right now. That's not an advancement yeah. for what you've done. One of the things that... So the, crooked, dude. One and of the things that I do in my... Nothing's going to happen. One of the things that I do in my job um, is I, I, I dig up evidence to either validate or impeach evidence in a trial. That's one of the things that I do. Right. Um, and in order for something to be accepted in a courtroom as evidence, it has to be validated by multiple sources right through other evidence yeah yeah, yeah. you uh, can't just say hey this is real it's got to you, you gotta I have, have to have some documentation you gotta be able, or, that, what uh, your, your words got to carry water you, if, if i'm going to try and get these sunglasses into evidence what i'm going to do is i'm going to get on your facebook page and i'm going to find a picture of you wearing them yeah with the date right uh, i'm going to find there, there's got to be something some corroborating something besides evidence uh, besides 51 yeah. fbi just saying it's not real right Intelligence agents, yeah. intelligence agents, yeah, whatever. Same, but uh, same <laughs> soup of, uh, of, of all letters. in the same swamp. They yeah. all in the same soup of letters, man. Yeah. Just oh, pick man. three and stick them together, and I'll say they're corrupt. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what three you stick together. Well, ATF. Well, they just make up their own laws. I'm telling, and you. then change them halfway through the program. Yeah, and then make you a felon. Did you that see? Makes sense. Did you see the video of them confronting the ex Navy SEAL? About about the trigger thing. Yeah, the force reset yeah, triggers. Yeah. yeah. And then that one that one ATF agent, and this is so disingenuous. He's like, I don't want to be here no more than you than you want me here. You're a liar. <laughs> Let me tell hang you. Hang on a second. No. No, 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 no you're no. a liar. You have a choice. No, hang on a second now. Okay. Um, I have, as a law enforcement officer in my past, had to do things I didn't want to do, but More it needed. Were they in direct no. contradiction no. to the United States Constitution? No. Were they absolutely fixing to violate the rights of this Navy SEAL? No. 
then that's what I'm no. talking about. He has a choice. And you know what? Them people they hung it at Nuremberg, they had a choice that's too. That's true. And they all said, we're just following orders. Following man. orders. We're just doing what we're told. That's right. That's the problem. You have a choice. Well, and that seal pretty much called him out on that. Yeah, he and did. And said, he, you know, he, he told him, you, have a, you don't have to be here. That's right. You have a choice. You're choosing to be here. Yeah. You know, even you got a choice. You always have a choice. Oh, man. And and that choice, we're going to see who makes them choices. You know, uh, the uh, the attack virus, yeah. China virus, yeah. it, it eliminated a lot of the people in the military and the law enforcement yep. that are free thinkers that wouldn't make that choice. That's right. That's right. And, you know, again, went, the get along gang. Get, and again. Nothing's going to happen out of that. I know. I know. Uh, nothing. Nothing is going to come out of that. Uh, all you know, uh, Fauci and and his testimony in Congress. You know, the the ten foot rule or the six, six foot, foot rule, rule that he made, made up. up and, and all that just it was yeah. lies to the American people. Um, and nothing will happen. You know, to this day, every now and again, I see somebody driving with a mask. Yesterday. <laughs> Clay, yesterday when I was taking the girls to water aerobics, yeah. I saw a man in a minivan by himself, by himself. with that stupid blue paper on his face. Uh -oh. And I looked over, I was like, oh, I just shook my head. Got that face diaper on. I'm like, wow, we're, really? I mean, really? First off, it never worked to begin with. I pulled up beside this old woman, uh, this is a couple weeks ago, at a stoplight, and I just glance over. And she's got her mask pulled down just below her lip in a cigarette in her mouth. <laughs> that cigarette probably better for her than a mask. <laughs> you know, I mean, her health know, might improve if you get rid of that, I don't know, you bacteria know, you, collecting mask. The funny thing is, is <clears throat> your yeah. rebreather. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the funny thing is, is uh, in, in agriculture, you don't brand sheep. But the face diaper is a brand. That's the brand. These sheep have been branded. That's their ear tag. You know, that and, and their little bumper sticker said, I got my vaccine, you know, um, right next to the Biden uh, Harris. Yeah, I've been boosted eight times. Yeah. But I only got it twice. <laughs> and I didn't spend very long in the hospital. <coughs> That's, That's right. another lie that they told us. You oh, know, gosh. Oh, get the vaccine. You won't even go to the hospital. Yeah, you won't. And if you get it, your symptoms will be almost nothing. And you can't spread it. Can't spread can't it. Can't pass it along. But keep wearing the face diaper. That's right, just in case. the anti-vax. You know what? <laughs> I think it's been like 800 and some days. I read something the other day. 880 days, and uh, we're not dead yet. Yeah. You know? That's right. I think we made the right choice. And how many people have, have unexpectedly died? Yeah. Due to that Young vaccine? people, man. Young and, people. And high school football I've seen it in some European countries. They've outlawed it. Good. They've outlawed that vaccine. Good. And yeah 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 so i saw and then, it, uh, go ahead go so ahead. on the news yesterday this new h1n1 I bird flu so. or h1n7 or whatever it is um the, somebody's so, already got it in china there's it well there's a couple of people that have died from it and uh you know they're talking about this disease x it's going to hit us anytime now of course between now and november absolutely it we, is it, it we've it, got it, russian warships <laughs> 90 miles predict, off the florida coast predict, uh, pandemics better than any predict weather. Yeah, we've got we, we've got disease X on the way. They might resurrect the murder hornets. Who knows? Because that I never remember that. That didn't pan out. out. No, no. Monkeypox didn't pan out. No. Uh, maybe they'll resurrect that too. We've got It'd Russian monkeypox carrying murdering hornets. Yeah, there you go. Um, fired from Russian warships <laughs> off the coast of Florida. Now, here's the other thing. Here's another thing. Um, by the way, kudos. Um, DHS arrested eight ISIS terrorists that were in the United States that came across the southern border this week. Um, and they wait a minute, that can't be right. <laughs> There's nobody bad coming across. It's just the people are seeking asylum. That's right. There's That's nothing it. bad coming across. Clay. That is anti Biden right Check there. this out. Now, of course, I think you're being transformed. Of course, this is. A <laughs> <laughs> Are these trans terrorists? I don't know. I don't know. It's they're sounded, it's well, they're, good. they're, they're trans. Good. They're transcontinental terrorists. Yeah. Um, there you go. There you go. Uh, uh, and now, of course, this is, I was trying this to virtue is, signal there for yeah, that. Yeah. This is according to news reports, but they 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 had picked up phone chatter where they were talking about bombs and blowing stuff up, and there there wasn't in Philadelphia. 
Uh, well, it, it, I think a couple of them were in New York, a couple of them were in Chicago. They they got in the country and they split up. And and what they're thinking hmm, is like they're planning something. Yeah, like they're going to do a, a synchronized attack or something. Uh, so you got that. You got the Russian warships. You got Disease X coming down the pike. You've got Sleepy Creepy Joe Biden. That it, it's way past his nap time, um, and it's all it's all coming to a head, man. Yeah, it's all coming to a head between now and so, November. So how how does November get eliminated? We were talking about this the other day. Yeah, does it get eliminated from? internal you know inside the united states attacks and then we have to do martial law does it get eliminated because they're gonna uh try to put uh president trump at rikers island right or or does it get eliminated because we've got this huge pandemic all the above or all the above all the above it seems like everything is in place yeah and what do they do if they can't for some reason actually put donald trump behind bars their next step is an assassination attempt. Yeah, yeah. And that's a sad... We, we, I mean, we've already been in a very sad spot in our yeah. America. But when you're... Yeah. When, when two guys in Burke Burnett, Texas, can sit down and unironically discuss the possibility that our federal government is going to assassinate or attempt to assassinate a running candidate for the position of, for the office of president that's a sad situation that is a sad situation that is we even have, if we are way wrong if we're 100 percent wrong it's still sad that it's a possibility that, that, right that that it is in the realm of possibility and by the way we're not the only ones no uh, tucker carlson she uh, said that a long time ago said it to donald trump yeah and donald trump said that is a very real concern and you know he, he, well it's got to be for him I yeah mean, i mean they've tried everything else well, all right, and, and I'm not, all right, before y'all start screaming at me in the comments, I'm not making any accusations. We're just, we're, we're talking hypothetical. It's, it's a thought experiment. But I want to say this, you stop and think about it. Donald Trump's primary source of security are federal agents. I know, I know. Under the control of Joe Biden. Scary situation. Yeah. Scary yeah. situation, man. Yeah. Now, and, and once again, all of them can be bought. I truly believe that. Having said that, um, I wonder about his detail. Has his detail been with him a long time? Have they developed a relationship with him? Have they? Right. Know, I've known Secret Service agents, and and they talk about you know they, they'll talk about both sides. You know, oh God, I can't stand having to you know this detail. This guy's such a jerk, and right, you know, right. And then there's there's others. It's like, oh man, I absolutely love this guy. Right, and, and I, I would and die I would for die for this guy. Yeah. You know. And, and, and I, I can only imagine, because of people that are in close proximity to Donald Trump, every one of them talks about what an amazing human being he is. He's right, tired, and I can only thoughtful. imagine his, his detail would, would but, be that same way. But how hard would it be for one for the director of the Secret Service to, to swap replace, out his detail yeah, for another? Or just one guy. Yeah. All it takes is one. Yep. One that can be bought, and they all can be bought. Yeah. We, uh, we've had, it's been proven this is not... Whatever, what does Biden say? I probably, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm skipping on, 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 on. I'm no fooling. I'm no fooling. Uh, Jack, the, the CIA, they, they've been caught selling drugs and guns. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, I mean, uh, under Obama. Yeah. If yeah you're gonna, fast well, and, and, and not just then. I mean, yeah. way back in the day. Too, oh, in the 70s. In the yeah. 70s, 60s, yeah, and the 70s. the crack epidemic. They was, were running cocaine, yeah. with, you know, out of right. Columbia. Yeah. And the CIA was, Deep involved, and they were putting the money in the CIA well, account to fund CIA operatives. And Fast and Furious wasn't the CIA; that was ATF. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, uh, they're not beyond breaking the law. No, by any not. means. It's of course been, not. And and every one of them is can be bought. Well, I truly believe it. I know that there's some that I'll, I'll be wrong on some front. There'd be somebody sure. that can't, could not be bought. Sure, but. You know, I'm from Missouri. Well, not really, but you'd have, <laughs> you'd have to show me. You've been to Missouri. You yeah, I, you've been, I've been to Missouri. You got to show me because yeah. I don't believe it, man. Well, uh, I see too many of the politicians fold under. Uh, let, me, I, let me ask you something, man. I agree that the vast majority of them are, are useless. Um, and, and more than that, they're dangerous. But there are some. I know, I know for a fact that there are some. You know, uh, God told uh, e Ezekiel, I always keep a remnant. 
And I, I believe that there are some patriotic, American loving, God loving men and I, I want to believe women I want to believe in that, our government I that just, will not fold. I just absolutely. Boy, I, I want to believe that I do, and I truly believe that Ronnie Jackson's one of them, and and because I know him, um, and I think that that some of these uh, these special operators that are going, I mean, there's Green Berets and Seals and and all that that are getting involved in Congress. It, for the whole purpose of going up there and just shaking stuff up, and, I and hope these so. guys know how to do it. I hope so, man. I hope, I hope and pray. Yeah, that's what we need. Our, they are, it's just out of control. I agree. The corruption and and it's just out of control. Right. You know, and there's and the the money spending, Clay. There's something really positive though that that just happened in this last election cycle. Um, Kevin McCarthy went out on what they have, they have deemed his revenge tour. And he raised money, and he he stood against all of the Republicans that voted him out. And uh, he, he, you know, he he's he's supporting other candidates to replace these folks. He lost his butt. Um, the, the 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 ones that voted Kevin McCarthy out are the vast majority of them, if not all of them, are still there. Uh, he, he he it was a complete failure. Right. And you know that that gives me some hope. Right. You know? Um, and and I do I hope, but man, you know when you when you see it so many times that these Republicans are the what they call the rhino, yeah, and and they're voting exactly they're not voting for what me and you want. No, they're no. voting for what benefits them. You know, I, I read something, and I don't know how accurate this is. You know, once again, right, whatever you read and see, it could be made up by AI. I've seen some of them, but anyway, this was uh, uh about AOC. Oh, okay. And it says that I don't know how long she's been in the government. She's in her second term, I think. Okay, well then, this can't. This number can't be real then. But anyway, it says she went from a bartender, which that's true. Yeah. To a, a, a representative there, and she makes one hundred and sixty-five thousand a year, and I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. And she's worth twenty million dollars. Wow. How can that be? Wow. If that's even close to true. Yeah. Why is she in two years? Well, she went to the Nancy Pelosi School of Finance. And, uh, you know, why isn't that mm. being uh, well, investigated? There, there's and a it, meme that floats around. And, and, and you know, we say, well, that's that, she's a Democrat. Yeah, but it's, it's all the politicians, yeah. all of them. They go into office. Yeah. I think it was uh, uh, President Truman that said something about uh, – uh, going into politician politics to get rich, yeah, or whatever. You got to watch the guy that does it to get rich. Cause right, he's the one that's crooked. I don't make, can't remember his exact. There's this meme that floats around. I know you've seen it, and and it says, "Why are we spending all this time and effort investigating a billionaire who became a politician and not the politicians who became millionaires?" Absolutely, yeah. And this is a billionaire that did that didn't accept a paycheck the whole four years. Right, right. Lost money. Uh, yeah. Lost money, and he and it's lost him a whole lot more money since. Since because, and he's still in the fight. Yeah, he is. And I mean, that's he said in that the proves me that 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 you know I said that you know that can't be bought. Yeah, that proves me you can't buy this guy. No, no, and that's why they hate him so. Oh, absolutely. He's not absolutely. under that thumb. Everybody else under the thumb, dude. I'm not gonna say everybody. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna hold out hope. And uh, give me, me, don't get me wrong. All right, let me clarify something. Uh, My hope. Is not in the government, and it's certainly not in any politician. No, you're. It, but I do believe that there are good people, good people that are that are uh, beyond reproach, that have get elevated into our government, and and uh, Nick Freitas is one. Now he's on the state level. He's in the Virginia. I think House. Clay Higgins is one. Yeah, Clay Higgins is one. I, it, it, there's yeah. a few that I want to believe. Right, but. I don't know. I, I don't know. There are. It, it's called greed, and you dangle that me, multi-million dollar it. carrot in front of that person. Well, and boy, you know they're they're getting older, and they're but here, here's their the grandma's thing. sick, or their mother's in a bind. You know what I mean? Here's and, the thing. And, and like, there's boy. something else that they do. Um, they will put you intentionally in a compromising position. Yeah. They 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 will wine and dine you and then they'll send a hooker to your room. Yeah. Not, oh, and you it, you not knowing there's cameras in the room. Right. But here's the thing. If you have the moral integrity, they cannot. They can't. Right. And and, and it's the same thing with this. You know, um it, <clears throat> the fact is there are very few, but there are good people still. 
I and, hope so. And I'll tell you what. I every, hope so. But every, I'm, every one of the ones I'm talking about, one thing I know about them is they know the Lord. Yeah. The ones that I want to believe in, they do. You, yeah. And, and they, they say it out loud. Yeah. John Kennedy. Not yeah. John Kennedy. What's his name? Is it John? No, yeah. it's not John. John Kennedy was the president. Uh, out, of, out of Louisiana, Kennedy. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm sure That's so hilarious. John? Yeah, I'm positive. Um, yeah, definitely. Look this one up. Uh, yeah, I like him. Uh, yo, yeah. I it, like the way he it, talks. It, it, well, he talks like uh, Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, there's something else I want to talk about. Uh, and we, we got a couple more. What? Got about Dude, half an hour. It's John Kennedy. It is John Kennedy. Okay. That's why I was okay. like, no, that's, that's him. All that's right. him. All right. So it's not John F. Kennedy. It's just no. John Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, something else I want to talk about. All right. Just to lighten the load a little bit. In 1976, I, I was adopted in 75. Uh, in, in the summer of 1976, Lee Thomas Kaler sold his pickup truck, went to the Ford dealer, bought a brand new Beast. Crew cab, beast, beast, bright red Ford pickup truck. We called it Big Red. Bought a camper trailer, um, and we loaded up seven kids in the back of that truck. And went on the summer of hell. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of good memories too. There though. was. There, there was, was a lot of good memories. Fantastic memories. We went on a but trip. Boy, there was some rough days. I don't know that. if we've talked about this on the podcast or not, but if, if we have, we didn't do it in depth. And, and, on, and on our trip. Yeah, no, I don't think we have it all. We uh, we left Burke Burnett, Texas. We went through uh, New Mexico and Arizona, visited the Petrified Forest, went to the Grand Canyon, yep. went to Long Beach, California, where we uh, visited Uncle David and Uncle Malcolm. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Uncle David, Uncle Malcolm. Uh, Uncle Malcolm uh, took us uh, for a ride in his limousine. The stretch limousine. Stretch limousine. That thing was neat. Uh, we went to uh, the, uh, the the Queen Mary. Yeah. Uh, then we left there, and we drove up the West well, Coast. Well, went to Disney. Yeah, I went to Disney. That's yeah. right. Went and visited in the limo. In the limo. That's right. We were it, fancy that day. Uh, then, Hillbillies from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> the Texas Hillbillies. Now, now to clarify, some of y'all are going, wait a minute. You just said seven kids. I thought there was only six of you. Our older sister, Terry's yeah. best friend, Lori, went with us. Uh, Lori Lewis. Uh, yeah. And uh, so we uh, then we left uh, California. We went up the West Coast uh, to Eatonville, Washington, at the base of Mount Rainier. Uh, we spent a gosh couple weeks uh, with Grandma and Grandpa Thomas. Yeah. Um, we went up to the mountain, played in the snow in the summertime. In the summertime. Uh, we left I there. Remember that. I remember sliding in the snow. Yeah. In the in the summer. We left there. I'm giving the overview of the trip, and then we'll talk about some of the specifics. Left there, and we went to uh, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Yep. And Uncle Trummy. Uh, we spent a, a Cindy couple, beat up a whole town. Yeah, yeah. Then we left uh, <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska. Went up to Pennsylvania, where Dad's originally from. Yeah, got to see all of his family. Uh, and then we came home. Thirty days we were gone. Thirty days took a solid month. He yeah. took a thirty day leave, and we were we were gone nearly all of the thirty days. Yeah, yeah. And it was one heck of a trip that's an adventure and and, and it's funny years later uh i was talking to dad about it before obviously before he passed um i was talking to dad about it and we were kind of reminiscing about that trip and he says you know your mother and i thought you guys would be fighting about who got to ride up in in the truck <laughs> and not the bed and, and, and it's like wait a minute wait a minute time when he bought this truck, the dealership gave him a, a cassette, and it was Ford's Greatest Hits cassette, and it was all Neil Diamond kind 99% of Ninety-nine percent of it was Neil, Neil Diamond. Diamond, yeah. And and, and so, uh, if you when when you were forced to ride in the in the and, back seat and you, of the truck, when you got in trouble, yeah, uh, you're you're up there marinating in Neil Diamond and cigarette smoke. Boy. <laughs> Nobody wanted to be in the back of the, in the in the back I, seat of that truck. We wanted to be in the back. I remember him saying. I was I got in trouble because I couldn't get along or whatever. Yeah. I was aggravating Cindy or Frank, and I remember him making me ride up front. And I was thinking to myself, didn't dare say this out loud. Yeah, I was thinking to myself, can't I just have a whooping? <laughs> yeah, please. Can you just not whoop me? <laughs> whoop me and put me in the back. Whoop me and put me in the back because the whooping will wear off in a minute, and I can just rub it out. That's gonna last me for oh. hours. Oh, hours, oh, oh, hours. Because yeah. you know we had the we, there was three tanks. He had the dual saddle oh, tank, yeah. and then the regular right. factory tank. And when Dad turned that key on and put it in drive, there wasn't a stop. You shut As off. Matter of fact, when you needed fuel. 
if anybody had to go to the bathroom, we had we had a, a sign written out that said, "I need to pee," and Trudy would hold it. It had to be Trudy. No one else could do it. If if anyone else did it, we didn't stop. But Trudy, the brat, if she held up that sign and he could see that in the rearview mirror, he'd pull over. Yeah. <laughs> but if it wasn't Trudy, he wave y'all. And then one other thing, just for fun, the cat. Fluffy was oh. in the uh, in the camper trailer the whole time. Yeah, I she, forgot that is about the, the, this, the that traveling is, cat. That is the most well traveled cat the in the history. Cat. Dude, that cat was an awesome cat. Oh, she was fantastic. She was oh, my fantastic God. all until that day she tried to get warm. Yeah, we yep. won't talk about that. Mom, <laughs> mom watches the podcast. <laughs> Speaking of mom, yeah, uh, we had a, another wonderful day of water aerobics with yeah. Her and Brandy yesterday, and we had a special guest. My my daughter, Misty Lee, showed up, and she got in the pool and was playing with That's them. That's fantastic. And she loved it. She said, that's so much fun, and I am so glad she had a good time. Oh, yeah. She's done with all her school. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, she graduated. Yep. Proud of all them kids. Every one of my kids. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just, there's yeah. something to be proud of. None of them are on drugs. None of them are in jail. They're all a functioning cog of society. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and your, your youngest man, she is crushing it. She over there is at the killing it. Salon, She's man. loving it. Yeah, loving it and killing it. And uh once again, praise God. Praise God about so many things, but praise God that she is not working at the jail no more. Right. I did not yeah. like her. No, not that working no. at the jail is a bad career. No, it is. You know, it's got good benefits. The pay as well. She's not a fighter. That's it. And, and and she was attacked twice in that jail. Yeah. You know, I have heard from seasoned officers. That being a jailer is the worst job oh, in law enforcement. Yeah. You're always outnumbered. Every one of them hates you, and you're unarmed. You have zero that's weapons. That's exactly right. And and so you're just kind of at toughest beat in law enforcement. That's it. Yeah. And you know, and, for and, her, she's not in law enforcement. She just went to work for the jail, and that's yeah. the first job she had. Which is a lot of them guys. That's the first job yep. they have. Yeah. And you know, uh, I talked to one cop, and he'd been a cop for 26 years. He said they ought not to let you be a jailer. Well, after you've been a cop for five right, or six years, right? So you understand the mentality That's exactly of the people it. that are in well, there. And and here's the thing: that you're trying to keep safe. He said that was the key thing. He said your job is to keep them safe. Yeah. And he said, but it's a constant watch your back, fight situation. Yeah. Well, and and you know, um, I had something. And I lost it. Oh well. Oh. Uh, anyway, lost it. It's gone. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't catch it. Oh man! Did you have it? Did you really have it? Did you did you lose it? I had it for a minute. Did, did you take it to a repairman? You don't know if you had one or not, huh? <laughs> it was there. It was I there. had a thought. It might have been hacked. Somebody could have stole it. Somebody could have stole your thought, like the laptop. There you go. There you go. You know what though? I don't have that uh, uh, Elon Musk chip in my brain, so no. I don't think I got hacked. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's that's kind of a interesting thing in itself. The Neuralink, man. Dude, I'm I don't like in this day of AI and the AI AI scares me. Oh man. I guess I've watched too many sci fi movies. Oh yeah. I've watched too much of that. Well, it you don't have to watch uh, sci fi. Watch the news. Elon Musk was begging Congress to begin regulating AI because it's already getting out of hand. Right. I saw a uh a, a guy, it was a journalist whatever that means these days, who was interviewing an AI. And uh, the journalist said, what is the greatest danger to the earth? And the AI said, mankind. And he said, what's the solution? And the AI said, eliminating mankind. There's a movie out. and Yeah, it's called Terminator. No, no. uh <laughs> It is. It is not kind of on that on that line. It's a series. It's like a, okay. a, a long series, and there's a few seasons. And if you're into this stuff, watch it. It's kind of neat. I kind of like that kind of future stuff, yeah. Star Wars, Star Trek kind of thing. Right. I got a little geek in me. Yeah. It's called the Three Hundred. Okay. And what it what happens is, we have done such bad things to this Earth that we're going to fix to get into nuclear wars. The Earth is going to be destroyed. <laughs> and and there's a group of of people that know this, mm-hmm. and I mean the whole planet knows it. Right. You see you see everything on the horizon, and they way more advanced than us. You know this is way in the future. Yeah, 
And what they do is they gather up prominent people, doctors and scientists and this, that, and they build a huge space station and they, they escape. Yeah. And their scientists have figured out that after, you know, X amount of generations, and it's a few thousand years, they can live up there in space and then later eventually come back to Earth. Repopulate the Earth. Repopulate the Earth, and that's the plan. Well, in space, there's a lot of challenges that happen, especially you think if you've got a whole town or city community living on this space station, uh-huh. you, you, laws have to be different. Sure. One of the things that is if you got like a major crime, they ejected you. Yeah. They just pushed you out in space and you're it's a death sentence. Yeah. Obviously. Well, uh children that got in trouble, that did bad things, they didn't eject them because they're kids. Even then they were thinking about the children. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway. Uh so it got pretty close time. They kept sending these probes down to Earth because they were just outside the Earth's orbit, you yeah. know. Just, you know, they could yeah, see the station. Earth, the whole right. yeah, space mm-hmm. station. So they decided that it was time, but they didn't want to sacrifice the uh, the the scientists right. and stuff. So what they did is they selected 300 of the locked up children. They were 16, 17, 15, 16, 17 years old, and they decided they were going to send them down. There was communication between them and them. Yeah. And, and, and I, I don't want to give a whole lot of the movie away. But but the end of it was, it, it, and it all kind of back, comes back to this AI thing. Mm-hmm. And, and you watch that movie, and it's like, a lot of it is very far-fetched. A right. lot of it is, is out of this world, obviously. Yeah. But there's a lot of it that is, uh, with our technology, you look at today, you're like, yeah, that's plausible. Yeah. That's, that's, that's almost scary. That is like overtaking of right. computer systems by an artificial intelligence. Yeah. And it caused extreme harm to the earth and and i mean try to give a little bit of the plot away one of the things the ai did was start the wars yeah to eliminate man because mankind was the problem that's right yeah yeah and so if they can eliminate and there's been a lot of those kinds of movies even i mean gosh decades ago there's been these movies about ai taking over the systems and all of that there was that one with uh, shia labeouf i can't remember what the name of that movie was but um the whole thing came down to the fact that, uh, you know, it was an AI that was, you know, destroying, trying to destroy mankind. Um, and, and, you know, right now in, in, the, in the, the current, uh, one of the things that we have to be concerned about is um, the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, deep fakes and that sort of thing. Um, you know, there, there's, there's this concern on, in, in the media and, and in the world of, uh, you know, one political candidate making another political candidate say something they never said. I've seen it already. Yeah. I've seen it in an experiment they did. Yeah. And they uh, they interviewed this woman for a couple hours mm. and then ended the interview. Then took her voice. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and just sucked it out of where they wanted to. And it was so seamless. Yeah. And made her say anything she wanted, anything they wanted. Yeah. And, and, if it wouldn't have been for the people saying this is what we're doing, you wouldn't have known. And how many hundreds of hours do we have of Donald Trump's voice and Joe Biden's voice everybody's, and all of these politicians? Everybody's yeah. voice. How many hundreds of hours do they have of your voice because they've been listening to your call? Yeah. Well, they, yeah. How many hundreds of Metadata. hours? Metadata. How many hundreds of hours, or, or just maybe not hundreds of hours, just hours of, of voice they have from this thing? Yeah. We're making YouTube videos. We're putting them out on the interweb. Do you know how many sermons and Bible studies I have on Facebook? Do you know how easy it would be for you to be preaching the wrong gospel? You know something that happened here? It would be easy to manipulate your words and change things up to where you're preaching the wrong gospel. True enough. Let me tell you something that Yeah, that's scary. But you know, God tells us about that, have discernment and watch out for that kind of whatnot. Let me tell you what did happen here a few months ago. Um, I got three different women. Um, that, that I know. One of them is a lawyer I work with. One of them is our niece, Brandy. And another one was a lady from church. And all three of these women approached me about an inappropriate text message that they got from my phone. I have seen that. Uh, um, it, it, it's been a problem for several years on Messenger. I don't know how many others there may be that haven't approached me. 
Right. By the way, if you're watching this and you got an inappropriate message from me, come and talk to me about it because I promise you I did not send yeah. that out. Yeah. Uh, That's scary. That's real scary. Um, you ruin careers and lives. Oh, absolutely. Ruin marriages. You can, Absolutely. You just uh, upend everything. Yeah. Oh, man, talk about ruin. Anyway, that's a whole other subject. But yeah. Um, these think, these makes three. Makes me go on the red, red, uh, red, red flag law. Yeah. Right? But anyway. These three, they, they, uh, they approached me, thank God. And it's like, holy smoke. No, that was not me. And that's scary, man. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, and in my role, in my position, um, let's say that that went out to somebody and they went public with it. Yeah. You know, um, pastor Red River. Yeah. Well, when I was in seminary, uh, we, we had a, 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 a well-known um, author and, and, and Bible study teacher that was going to come and do a seminar for us. And uh, he wound up canceling. Uh, and the reason he canceled is because somebody had hacked his email. And they, uh, from his email address, they were sending pornography to thousands of people. Uh, and he went underground as a result. When I worked for Larry, yeah, that Apple phone, my, my uh, not blaming Apple, but yeah. uh, the, my work phone mm -hmm. was sitting on my desk one day. And it didn't have a cover. It just, you yeah. know, you could see it. And... All just out of nowhere, uh, porno. Oh, nice. It, 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 the only thing that was my saving grace is the fact that I was sitting with my boss. We were having a meeting. Yeah. And my phone was just in the middle of the table like that. <laughs> and he said, what the heck? He noticed it first. Oh, wow. And it was just running. And he took the phone. I ended up getting a new phone because we couldn't even shut it off. Oh, wow. Wouldn't turn off. Wow. Nothing would work. On and that. that was a few years ago. That's been... Six years? Yeah. <laughs> and it just turned on. It had that, that particular thing has never happened again, but it just it just came on and it was just playing. It's amazing. <laughs> if they can play that, they could have played any kind right. of porn. Right. Well, yeah. I watched yeah. a lady I watched a lady talk about how they were trying to set her husband up you on told FBI. Me about that. And he said that one of the FBI agents says, Well, we was gonna plant child porn yeah. on his devices, but we didn't have to. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, uh, well, it's not, Trump's not, I watched the interview last night. Trump's not just, just Trump's not the problem. It's anybody that votes for yep. Trump. Yep. Yep. Sure enough. Um, and so, uh, you know, any Republican, you know, they talk about weaponized that Donald Trump's going to be a dictator and all this other stuff. But they, they want to weapon. They have weaponized it. They want to weaponize it did against hear, anybody that votes Republican. Did you hear an interview with AOC where uh, the the interviewer said, "What are you going to do if Donald Trump gets reelected?" She says, "I I don't doubt at all that if he gets reelected, he's going to throw me in prison." <laughs> <laughs> did she do something wrong? <laughs> if she's done something, I'm sure she has. If but... she's done something to break the law, I, I would. But did, did you see Donald Trump's interview? About this political, yes, yes, and he said, "This he is said, silliness. This has got to stop. The best revenge is winning." Yeah, he said, yeah. "This has got to stop." Yeah. Then they wanted to know if he was going to go after people if he did win. He said, "You're not listening to me. This has got to stop. Yeah. This is not what America is. No, we can't be jailing our political opponents." Duh. Right. Yeah, we're Venezuela now. Well, you know what? For four years, for four years, he was president of the United States. And, and pantsuit Hillary is still walking free. That's right. He didn't go after her. That's right. And you he know, had every... Despite the chance, lock her up. You're right. And he, I mean, it would have made the American people, the Trump supporters, very happy. Yeah. And she broke the law a lot. A lot. A whole, a whole lot. lot. Yeah. And that's just what we know of. Right. So, yeah, he, he I don't know. It's just so one-sided. Yeah. Our, our justice system. And then everything, he knows the same thing that Mama used to tell us. That when somebody was telling lies, mm -hmm. it's usually because they was guilty. Right. And that one finger pointing at you, look at how many fingers pointing back. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and everything they've said about Donald Trump, they've either done or doing. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to try and jail his uh, political opponents. Well, um, that's already happened. Yeah. Um, uh, he's going to start World War Three. Mm, <laughs> Sleepy <laughs> Joe's trying real hard for that if he hadn't already. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, how oh. That candle may have already been lit. I'm telling you. And by the way, um, you know, our friends in Israel are, they're, they're facing it again. It looks like there is a 
full-blown offensive that's about to happen from Hezbollah to the north. You know, they're still dealing with Hamas in the south and Hezbollah to the north as the unending rocket attacks. And I am so disappointed in American people. Oh, yeah. Over this issue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I want segments the, of the American Segments people. of the American people. There's a lot of people in America right. that are standing up for There's Israel. There's a lot of good Christian Israel. people yeah. in America, and they're Americans, and I love them, and I support yeah. them, and I'll stand next to them yeah. and fight and die for them. Right. And, uh, but the other ones, I agree. I wouldn't pee on you if you're on fire. Yeah. You know, it, it, the. And they're all young. I, I want, stupid. Young kids. and have no idea what they. They're ignorant. They don't even know what they're yelling about. Yeah, I saw that interview. What did they, they have no idea? Yeah, the, you know, uh, uh, what does free Palestine must be free from the river to sea? What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That means they want to have a river and they want to go to the beach. <laughs> no, no, it means they're going to eliminate an entire race of people. That's right. Are you okay with this one girl? You could see the sadness. Yeah, just and she was like, "What? Yeah, yeah, yeah." They want to eliminate an entire race of people. They are marching in the streets for a group of people that literally burned children alive in front of their mothers. And 80% of those that were are marching, they, that group of people they were marching for, they would kill them because in a they're heartbeat. gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queers for Palestine. <laughs> they would you throw go. you off a building <clears throat> yeah. and you're doing all this, whatever this it's is for them. I, it just it blows me away, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Blows me away. All right, brother. We need to wrap this thing up. I got to go to work. Well, yeah. <laughs> Time, flies. Time, Time does fly. Flies. You know what? I want to close. I want to end this on a on a positive note. 1976. Man, yeah, for some reason, I've been thinking about that a lot. That trip, man. <laughs> you know, I, it was my first year. Uh, I, I, I was adopted in July of 75. Uh, the following summer. The following summer, we went on this trip. Uh, you and I kept getting in trouble because we couldn't get along. Everyone else would be at the KOA campground going in the swimming pool, and you and I had to sit in the trailer and hold hands because <laughs> we couldn't get along. And look how close we are I'm now. Telling you, I'm Dad telling you, Dad would be proud. He knew uh, he would, uh, you know something else I remember? This this one, I just thought of this the other day. We were we were at this. By the way, we visited. I think every KOA campground in the United States and Stuckies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuckies, Stuckies. <laughs> Uh, we were at this KOA campground, and we were on the far edge. We were in the last uh, stall at this KOA campground, and uh, right next to a, an asparagus field. Do you remember that? Uh-uh. And uh, mom had us kids go out and steal asparagus out of this farmer's field, and she cooked it up for dinner. <laughs> That's you funny. don't remember that? I don't. You don't remember man. us being forced to commit trespass and theft? <laughs> Oh, oh I want to ask Mama about that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Stuff. Yep she she uh, she she's the one that introduced us into a life of crime, apparently. Yeah. Uh, well, man, look here. If you are, I know you're a busy man during the day. I am. But on Monday and Wednesday, yeah. If you ain't got nothing to do, <laughs> come around. Swing by. Come around noontime. Yeah. He's on over there, man. And it's hilarious. I may try it. I it may is entertaining try it. at oh, I bet. entertainment at its finest. I man. bet it, it is. is hilarious, dude. I bet it is. And it's not so just as long as your bride doesn't float away to the deep end. Yeah, it's <laughs> not just Brandy and Mom. It's that whole crew. Yeah, they're a hoot. Oh, I bet it is a a, a bunch of elderly women. Yeah, that are just living their best life, and having and, fun, and they don't. None of them really care what they say. Right. Right, and which, which is why they're all flirting with you. Yeah, and it's hilarious. <laughs> it, well, I'm, I'm the young buck. Yeah, <laughs> at, 60, at sixty years old, I'm the young buck. That's right. That's right. And Folks, it is hilarious. It is good stuff, man. I, I I cannot express to you how much my brother Lloyd and I enjoy spending this time with you guys. And uh, you know, we we said from the beginning, if nobody even wa ever watches it, we're going to keep, keep we're going to keep doing it. it. You know, this yeah, this is our thing. That's right. Uh, but we've invited y'all along for the ride, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that we've been a blessing to you. And and as always, if if we have, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if this, we haven't, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Anyway, maybe we'll be next time. This algorithm is really suppressing us. I was yeah. like, I was looking at the stats the other day. We had one video that had over five hundred views. Um, you know, there's real YouTubers that are laughing right oh, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 500 views? Aren't they doing something? <laughs> well, but, but, uh, but then I'm the looking next at video, it from our perspective. Yeah, then the next video gets 12. 19. Yeah. Yeah, 19. 
Now, I will say that, uh, you know, you and I both pushed out our last video, and, and it's up in the 50s. Wow. Know. And see, I shared it on everything. I yep. shared it on X. I yep. shared it on Facebook. I shared it. It actually got a couple new subscribers mm -hmm. by yeah. doing it on Facebook. You know, by the way, I don't know that I necessarily believe um, the, the the numbers because I have a lot of people that come up to me and say, man, I really enjoyed the podcast. And I had a few people. Yeah. And, and so who knows? Who I know. Knows? I know. Who knows? But here's if, the problem. If, I'll tell you what, man. If you do watch it, <coughs> comment anything. Yeah. And even yeah. if it's just a dot. Yeah. I'm here, yeah, something. Yeah, even just a present. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's the problem, though. We're uncompromising. We're pro gun, pro God, pro America, pro Trump. Anti corruption. Anti corruption. Um, I'm not anti government. No. no Somebody no. told me that the other day. He said, You're just going to anti government. I said, You're wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. I'm not anti police. No. I'm not anti government. No. Those are necessary things Absolutely. in our society. We have to have. That's Absolutely. what necessary means. Otherwise, They're like we're oxygen. Nicaragua. They're like oxygen. Yeah. We have to have it or we're going to suffer greatly. Yeah. What you can't have is corruption in any spot. Right. Whether it's police, government, right. or the guy at the grocery store. Yeah. You, it's the corruption that I'm anti-corrupt. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and, and if, we, uh, if we could get back to our constitutional republic, boy, that would be amazing. That'd be amazing. It would be amazing. That'd be a good goal to set. That's a that's a give lofty us, goal to set. Give us your tagline, old man. Take time to be kind. Doesn't cost you anything. Amen. This doesn't. Amen. Lord willing, we will see you all next Thursday. God bless each and every one of you. And until then, this is uh, Iron Sharpening Iron. Okay, we'll